Yes, welcome. Today we are going to be looking at uh, determination of the effective capacitance of a capacitor of capacitors in parallel and in series. You remember when we are doing uh, resistance of resistors, we say that when it's connected in parallel, like this, this is parallel connection. For resistor, it would have been 1 over R plus 1 over R2, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. But for capacitance, it's the reverse. So, for parallel connection, you have effective capacitance to be equal to C1 plus C2, C1 plus C2. But when we have a series connection, this sort of connection is series connection, C1 and C2, we have effective, one over effective resistance will be equal to 1 over C1 over 1 over C2, making effective capacitance the subject of the formula. You have effective capacitance to be equal to C1, C2, all over C1 plus C2. So capacitance is just the reverse uh, in terms of looking at the calculation for the effective capacitance in series and in parallel connection. It's, it's a reverse of what we had in a resistance of a resistor. So now we're going to do calculation with this. So whenever the capacitance is connected, whenever the, capac the capacitors are connected in parallel, you use direct addition but whenever they are connected in series you use the reciprocal you add up the reciprocal as well as the reciprocal of effective uh, uh, capacitance so take note of these relations now the calculation we are going to try one calculation now we have in the equation example one three capacitors are connected in in what series you can see it's in series so you're supposed to have something like this uh, 3 microfarad, 4 microfarad, and 2 microfarad. So they are connected in, in series. So whenever you have a series connection, how do you solve the calculation? How do you solve the calculation for series connection? So you're going to have that the, uh, you're going to have that the, the effective capacitance will be equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3, which is simply equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 2 plus 1 over 2. So that's how you calculate the effective resistance. But let's look at the equation completely. Three capacitors of capacitance 3 microfarad, 4 microfarad, and 2 microfarad are connected in series in the electric circuit. If a 500 voltage DC source is connected across the capacitor. Determine the total energy stored in the circuit. So how do you calculate this? First of all, you need to determine the effective capacitance. So this is what you do. So when you now say 1 over C, effective capacitance will be equal to, you add this up. How can you add this up? You get the LCM of 3, 4, and 2, and that is what? 12. So 12 divided by 3. 12 divided by 3 is what? 4. 4 times 1, 4 plus. 12 divided by, uh, by 4, 3. 3 times 1, 3 plus. 12 divided by 2, 6. 6 times 1, 6. So we have this 4 plus 3 plus 6, giving us what? 13 all over what? 12. So if 1 over C, uh, effective capacitance is equal to 13 over 12, that means that effective capacitance is actually equal to 12 over 13. So that is our effective capacitance, 12 over 13. What is the value of 12 over 13? Press your calculator, 0 0.923 microfarad. So we have effective capacitance C to be equal to what? 0 0.9, 9 watt, 231 microfarad. So that is the effective capacitance. So now we are supposed to find the value of the watts. What are we supposed to find to determine the total energy stored? And what is the value of the energy stored? Check the equation I gave you before. Energy stored in a capacitor. What is the formula for calculating the energy stored in a capacitor? I told us that is equal to what? Half C. Half what? 
half CV squared. So it's simply equal to half C. C, what is C? The value of the effective capacitance, 0 0.9231. Microfarad, when you convert it, it will be 10 to the power of what? Microfarad is 10 to the power of what? Mi minus 6, converting it to normal farad. So times V squared, what is V? 500. 500 squared. So when you solve out this calculation, you're going to get 11 point 534 11 4 is 534 times 10 to power minus 2 joules. So press this in, out in your calculator, that will be your answer. So first of all, in approaching this question, what did, what did we do? We found out the effective capacitance. And how do we do it? Because they are connected in series, we say 1 over effective capacitance is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. We'll put them and solve out the effective capacitance, which we arrived at was 0 0.9231 microfarad. You need to convert this microfarad to farad. That's why we multiplied it by 10 to the power minus 6. So putting it in this formula for energy stored in a capacitor, we solve out to get this. Thank you.